Good morning, guys. I'm Abby. This is Ryan. Welcome back to Lost Among Locals. So we're taking a little random journey today. Yeah. Um, we don't really know where we're going. What's the place nope. called? Um, something about a ficus tree bridge. We're Ryan and Abby, and this is Lost Among Locals. In 2020, we quit our jobs to go travel the world. Here's how it went. So basically, it's this big hanging bridge in the middle of the jungle made out of this tree. It looks really awesome and beautiful. It does. We're going to go try to get some footage and pictures, and we're just sort of parked on the side of the road here, so yeah. we're going to go in that. Kind of a spur to moment type of venture, so we don't really know where we're going. We never know where we're going. We're, we're terrible with directions. We really just need my father to come along on these adventures just to like tell us where to go. He's great with directions, but he also hates travel. You found the road. Yeah. We missed it somewhere. All right, so the first trail just took us all the way back up to the road come down a different way. So, we think we have to go down this muddy trail, right here. <laughs> and I am trying not to get all disgusting, because this is just the start of our day. So I would rather not slide down on my butt. <laughs> I like the vine to help get across the, the water. All right, I'm digging the vine bridge. Keep my feet dry. Y'all, I went to put these boots on today and they straight up <laughs> smell like mildew, wet dog. Bad. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that, <laughs> so cool. So quiet and peaceful out here. We haven't seen any other people. brought the GoPro. Oh, look at you being all fancy and prepared. But it's in the back. <laughs> Alright guys, so we have been told by another couple that if we go to the other side of the bridge and kind of down, there's an area with a bunch of flowers and like the lights peeking through the trees really pretty and looks beautiful. So we're making our way down another muddy path because we just can't help ourselves. Sing away, honey. Sing away. Yikes. 
inevitable happened. I stepped in the river. Now my left foot's all wet. Well, these cameras sometimes are just a giant pain in the butt. But that being said, we actually really love making YouTube videos. Like, why did we ever thought we would ever, ever like it? It's a lot of work, takes a lot of time. It's kind of frustrating sometimes. But it's just like a new creative outlet, I guess. I really quite enjoy it. I don't so much enjoy the rest of social media. Necessary evil, I guess. But I don't so much enjoy it. <laughs> well, guys, in the last 30 seconds, I have smashed the camera lens up against the rock wall and knocked the lens cap off onto the ground. Thankfully, or into the river. Thankfully, I had just put the lens cap on or it would have been a broken lens probably. And like 10 seconds later, Ryan takes off with the drone and it's been acting crazy and it flies itself straight into a brick wall, a rough wall. So he's over there possibly mourning his loss at this point. I'm not really sure if it's broken or not. It's just wet. It also fell in the river. I almost fall. Well, we got all these warnings today when coming out here that guard your stuff, blah, 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 all these things which I'm sure does happen from time to time, but uh, so far today, we haven't really even seen another soul. So we basically found out about this place. There are a couple of dogs online we yeah. saw. And I think I might have read something about it last time, but basically our hostel owner told us about it and a couple of the other people who have been traveling in this area. So we thought we'd check it out. It was definitely worth it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's really beautiful out here. And I don't think the cameras will really pick it up because it's that kind of nature that there's so many layers to that you like wish your eyeball could take a picture because it just won't. Yeah. I know they'll be disappointing. Guys, this is what it's called, Ficus Le Raiz. Hey, hey guys, we have decided to take a little adventure this evening. So we are going on a night walk tour with Johnny Loves Nature here in the Monte Verde area. Johnny is somebody that was kind of recommended and it looks like he gives a good private tour for yeah. about the same prices as the big tours cost for a big group. So we're gonna have just our friend Paul and us, a group of three, and we're going out into the cloud forest of Monte Verde to look for kinkachus and all kinds of big-eyed night creatures. Right, yeah. but, um... So you start your tour here at the Monte Verde Wildlife Refuge. So our guy Johnny has just told us that there is a teenager sloth <laughs> that likes to hang out over here at the beginning of the reserve. So we're going to go see if we can see him, but he said like all teenagers, um, he's moody and we may or may not be able to see him. So we'll see.
All right, guys, so that is that. We have finished our done. trip. He was absolutely so amazing. Yes, he was. Not only is he interesting, he's incredibly he smart. He knows a lot about every everything, thing, every plant we saw. He's also very, very funny. Yeah. And uh, you could tell he's a family man. Yeah. He's got a four kiddos and a beautiful family and uh, so if you come to this area in Monte Verde come and support him he loves nature you can find he has a great website he has great prices and he does private tours for the price of what you would pay for a hill bus tour somewhere else so awesome guy we loved him we would do it again in a heartbeat oh absolutely yeah. We are going to a nicer place tonight. We're going to stay in a hotel with a bathtub because, y'all, I need a bath. Like, I need to you don't, sit you don't in understand. hot water you don't, and take a bath. You don't understand. Abby loves baths. I do. And with traveling the way we travel, we don't really get bathtubs. You get no. showers. And so yeah. she found a place with a bathtub. With hot water if you're lucky. With, yeah. And so she's really excited about this bathtub. I'm... Um, yeah, I told him, I was like, we're leaving as early as we can today because I need to take a bath. <laughs> so, here we go! We are here at Luna um, in b and We have just met Esteban, the owner here. Actually, we've been talking to him for like an hour, right? I think we covered everything from like politics to uh, the beauty of Costa Rica. We covered it all. But anyway, um, this is the honeymoon suite here at Luna Inn. It's absolutely lovely. So, just walk you through for a sec. Okay, guys, we have this beautiful balcony. comes out onto a really lovely garden and you get this awesome mountain view of San Jose. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And Esteban just told us that there is a road that runs all the way around the property, lands at a fresh market where we can buy food and drinks, and then it is right next to, get how perfect this is, I'm so excited about this, a shared Japanese and Italian restaurant in the same place. It's like heaven heaven in a restaurant. I'm so excited. I'm going to eat there soon. Guys, this bathroom is delightful. In fact, the whole reason I moved this place was for this bathroom. Because, look, I'm so happy about this bathroom. I'm so, so, so happy. I need a bath. And there's a great, big, beautiful, Two person, I've never seen a shower like this. I've seen a shower with lots of heads, but never like <laughs> shower A with its own controls for your partner who is a wimp <laughs> and wants his shower like lukewarm. And then, and then shower B for, for someone who actually, <laughs> you know, wants a hot shower. Or scalding your skin, yes. This is the most perfect shower on the planet. I love it. And I'm gonna spend all night in this bathroom. All right, you guys, so this place runs about $60 a night. It's on the outskirts of San Jose. It's in a really beautiful, safe area. It's a go. However, we did not actually pay that. We booked this with points from our Chase Sapphire Reserve card. Um, so basically we kind of got it for free because those points were on things we've already bought. So we have them racked up and we use them for nights when we just need a good bath. So we have been recruited into a local music video by a comedian here singing a song about how his country sucks and he's going to America. So we've been recruited to be the snobby Americans in the video. So we're gonna go do our duty. Yeah. 
Okay, so the premise is that we're supposed to be like being served by this comedian and then we give him like the world's most terrible tip. <laughs> so we're making ourselves look like jerks, but it's fun. <laughs> Alex and his friends wrote this song for a little a little while ago about it doesn't have to be Costa Rica but just any country basically his country stinks he's going to America but it's he's a comedian so it's a parody on that Americans tip terrible and like he's doing all this hard work and we're just giving him this coin that amounts to like a tenth of a penny um, so anyway his name is Alex Costa comedy he is here on YouTube but also on Instagram and Facebook and you can check him out there Hi, my name is Juanca, and I'm from Costa Rica. We were recording for Lost Among Locals here in Luna Inn Hotel, Boutique Hotel in Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. So we're having fun with you. Thank you. Thank Well, that was super fun. Um, <laughs> in this first scene, they had us sitting in this hammock and he was supposed to be like rocking us and then we like give him a crappy tip. Well, we gotta get up out of the hammock when he tells us to and Ryan's button on his shorts gets stuck and his butt gets stuck in the hammock. <laughs> we had to shoot it again. That was <laughs> It happens when you don't pay. <laughs> hey. I really was thirsty.